seeing yourself as God sees you, no more and no less. That's a healthy self-image, which means the truest thing about you is what God says about you. Now, what does God say about you? He says you're special. Well, why am I special? He said, because I created you to be loved. Because I love you makes you special. And you know that is so true. There are literally records of people who have died in the world because of the lack of love. There's many uh, studies that will show how babies, when they're born, if they do not receive love, even their physical bodies are affected by that. You are special because you are loved. You say, well, how am I loved? What kind of love is it? You know, there's four beautiful aspects of God's love. Number one is God's love is sacrificial. Wow, that's a new twist. For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. And in 1 John 4, 10, it says this, this in His love, not that we loved Him, but that He loved us, now get this, and gave His Son as a sacrifice for our sins. God's love for you is sacrificial. Second, did you realize that God's love for you takes the initiative? He didn't wait around for you or me to love Him, no. He took the initiative to love us, and then we respond to that love. Uh, as it says in 1 John 4, 10, this in his love, not that we loved him, but that he loved us. And then third, God's love is, is um, extensive. It's huge. It's expanding. You say, now what do you mean? To compare, to see how much God loves you, I want to use a passage of Scripture, John 15, 9. Now, this is what the Scripture says. I have loved you, even as the Father has loved me, remain in my love. I have loved you, as the Father has loved me. For a Christmas gift one year, I had a calligrapher taken right out. We wrote the verse out, and then the same printing, they put in the person's name, like Jeff, I love you as much as the Father has loved me. Can you imagine what that meant to the disciples? Saying, wait a minute, you love me as much as the Father has loved you? And later Jesus said, I love you as much as I love the Father. You are special because you are loved. Then God's love is knowledgeable. In the Word of God, in Psalm 139, etc., it says He knows everything about you. Before there's a word upon your lips, He knows it. When you lie down, rise up from afar, He knows it. Nothing can surprise God about your life. You are loved, and that makes you special.